Starbies and welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Belinda Strana. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload videos, you will be the first person to be notified to my returning subscribers, to those people that share my videos, leave commentaries, and also educate, educate each and every one of us. You guys are the real MVP. All right, lovelies, let's dive into this video. So, lovelies, I came across this video on my For You page on TikTok, and I thought to share with you guys where a lot of people are actually reacting to the fact that on TikTok, when you are a makeup, you know, content creator who happens to be a black woman and you post something relating to makeup, it will actually take you to what they call keto makeup. And people were like, is TikTok being red and serious now? I was just able to put up some of those stitches and uh, I'm just going to roll it. Please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. All right, Imagine being a black girl to and you post a makeup video and it gets categorized as ghetto makeup. Like the search literally says ghetto makeup TikTok. And your hashtags do not say ghetto makeup. It says like black girl makeup. This girl mentioned she was doing her makeup and she ended up on ghetto makeup TikTok, right? And her makeup looked fine. So... I'm confused as to what ghetto makeup is. Let's do beautiful brown girl makeup. Y'all, today I'm going to use my foundation from Anastasia. If y'all hear my son, he's definitely right here playing with wet wipes. But I don't even know why we're surprised. I was a little hurt. But when I clicked on it, it was beautiful brown girls doing their makeup. So I'm just going to use my Anastasia foundation. And y'all, when I tell you I was not surprised, I don't know why i mean i know why i wasn't surprised but we need to change the narrative honestly like are y'all really out here looking it up are y'all really out here looking up ghetto black girl makeup are you serious and honestly i was more hurt to the fact that you know that's what y'all looking up and y'all not looking up beautiful brown girl makeup i don't understand that and as black girls why can't we just coexist why do we have to be ghetto why couldn't it be beautiful brown girl makeup just regular black girl makeup if that's what you're looking up honestly it's just beyond me and as a makeup artist i felt like that was very degrading and we all know racism exists but jesus christ that just broke my heart seeing it when i was scrolling and i'm using my fenty beauty um hydrating concealers in uh 385 and 350 and my Juvia's Place blush and Pink Lady. I literally don't understand why it's so hard for us to coexist as black women. And this is why we can't grow in certain spaces like this. Because when you see things like that, it deters people away from black women makeup tutorials, black women makeup brands. All because we're getting degraded time and time again. And I'm just bronzing with my Juvia's Place tan palette. Y'all, it's just a shame that we can't just coexist. We can't just coexist in other forms and other with other races because this is how y'all degrade black women. And when I tell y'all, black women are the least protected women out here in the world. That is honestly the truth. Because look at just what they're putting out there. It's just so freaking sickening to see things like that. And as a black beauty professional, it really breaks my heart. And, you know, sometimes you get emotional about it because it's like, what do, What else do we have to do? And if they say they don't want to be like a black woman, they're lying. They're lying. Okay. We got white males portraying black women. They've never been around. We got white women portraying black women. They've never been around. Honestly, it's just sickening and I'm so sick and tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of looking at it. And I just use my Juvia's Place uh, Contra Palette in Dark just to use that chocolate on my eyes. So if you see a black woman today, make sure you hug her and tell her she's loved because this is the type of shit we going through here on TikTok. And the reason we're being searched like that because we are the topic. We are everything. We are everything everybody wants at all times. Don't forget that, black woman. You are the shit. And they want to be just like you. This was a no-lash look. But, if, like I said, if you see a black woman, hug her today and tell her she's the shit. Because when you see stuff like that on TikTok, it honestly hurts our heart. But beauty professionals, get it together. Let's 
change the narrative and let us all coexist as one on tiktok okay good morning y'all so i just came across this video on my for you page it was very true and i looked it up myself and i'm like wow that's really really crazy that we get discredited out of everything and we will forever just be ghetto considered ghetto ratchet in every aspect even female celebrities was on that so basically it says ghetto makeup right everything every post everything that was under those ghetto makeup was black women literally i seen celebrity black women like jada Wada, just big influencers all of them were black literally i did not see one yt person at all so now that we do our makeup really really good we're considered ghetto we are even being categorized that is really 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 weird and i do not like that at all fix that please i want you to open your tiktok go to the search box type in ghetto makeup no color no gender no nothing ghetto makeup who do you see what kind of people are you are you are your eyes picking up come back and tell me i'm very curious all right that's it good night tiktok explain to me what ghetto makeup means what is ghetto makeup because I thought ghetto was a place. But now we're using it for things? Nice. <clears throat> nice. Now, what is ghetto makeup? And why do I only see my sisters under that? I'm, I'm a little confused. What's that? <laughs> Can we fix that, TikTok? Can you show and prove that you're not, you know, racist just a little bit? Show and prove. Like, what is going on here? I'm trying to find a ghetto-ness in these ghetto makeup tutorials because what's ghetto about it? These are regular makeup tutorials. And then what's really getting me is it's only black creators that can be found under this hashtag. Then on top of that, it's one thing if a lot of creators' videos are just ending up there under the ghetto thing, that would be a whole different problem within itself. But the fact that there are some creators intentionally making ghetto makeup tutorials a lot of y'all should have been left behind because clearly there's nothing up here nothing but gravel and dirt because what is ghetto about the tutorial like i could see if it was actually something there but these are regular everyday tutorials i, I am so confused on what's ghetto about it y'all should have been left behind Y'all should have been left behind. Y'all aren't the brightest. And the whole thing in general is just very concerning because why are we the only ones that fall under it? You see how racism just plays into everything, no matter what we do as black people. And the fact that some of y'all are feeding into it is sick. But I digress. Ghetto makeup. Y'all see ghetto makeup is trending? You know, I don't know how many different ways this app can tell us how it really feels about us because why is that even a category and when i look at the makeup under that search the makeup is beautiful it doesn't look any different than the makeup that would be on a non-person of color so what's ghetto about it is it ghetto because all the women are black that are doing the makeup i can't even say that i'm surprised i'm not we been knew that but it's just like it's so blatant at this point <laughs> this app is going to tell us every single time how it feels about us. <laughs> it, <laughs> you really mean to tell me you mad because TikTok put ghetto in front of the word makeup? You're getting categorized and in the correct category. Every one of your videos at that. Do you know what that means? Y'all do the most dumb thing there is. You get on TikTok to complain about TikTok. Make that make sense. If it was me and I'm dropping video after video and each and every one of my video is getting categorized and in the right category, <laughs> uh -oh. I'm gonna take off on that. You know what? I didn't say it too much already. I ain't finna. Y'all just have to learn on y'all. Huh? This girl mentioned she was doing her makeup and she ended up on ghetto makeup TikTok, right? And her makeup looked fine. So 
I'm confused as to what ghetto makeup is. So I go and look. Why do I pull it up? Why is it black women doing regular makeup? TikTok, do not piss me off. I swear on everything. I would have this app with my full chest. Don't piss me off. Fix it. Like, seriously, lovelies. Gator makeup. Like, just imagine as an influencer or maybe you just want to do a get ready with me. Right? And after all your get ready with me video, as a content creator, you try to proceed and you type in, you know, maybe makeup, get ready with me and all of that. And uh, automatically, it is tagged ghetto makeup. When I saw this video on my For You page on TikTok, you know, uh, where a black lady was actually complaining that she never tagged anything yellow makeup or something, but she keep on saying, you know, I decided to actually, you know, type ghetto makeup on TikTok. <laughs> like, seriously, when I typed that, I was just seeing all of the, you know, black melanated ladies makeup. Like, I was just seeing only black women, black ladies, girls, get ready with me and all of that. You know, sometimes when a lot of creators, you know, talk about how most of these social platforms are also racist, people complain, you know, a lot of people be complaining that if you know some punk people create videos and all of that you know also maybe someone that looks like me also create videos the one at which you know the other platform we promote will be that of a punk colored person a lot of people have been having this complaint like you will see today a punk colored person will just come to a platform and <laughs> this person is already making waves compared to um that of the other person but the thing is that if you as a someone that looks like me uh, making all of these truth videos it's as if these platforms like most of all platforms they don't really put it out there like it's so shocking to me that <laughs> When we say that reality does not exist, it really does. But a lot of people still believe that the system, you know, there's nothing like reality. And when you complain, people look at you as, oh, you're still dwelling in the past. You're still living in the past. What are you even talking about? You know, imagine you as an influencer maybe a makeup influencer or just you just doing your makeup thing and you decide to post it and put some hashtag that's not that that has nothing to do with ghetto then you are seeing the algorithm putting your videos on ghetto makeup <laughs> oh god this is like i'm smiling but this is just so this is so wrong what is wrong with ghetto makeup like so oh my god what are they even trying to imply so someone that looks like me like black people are ghetto i don't understand what is this you know this has actually been trending all over social media the ghetto makeup you know you see a lot of black girls the fact is that when you type in ghetto makeup the only people you will see are just black girls or black women black ladies you won't see any form of punk colored person but you type in ghetto makeup they will just be melanated people so we are now ghetto people <laughs> God. i'm smiling but this is the height of brilliances like seriously and um, people are still believing that there is something like inclusion and all of that oh my goodness i f i feel so disappointed that in 2024 there's still even if we know it exists but we don't i don't really know that it's, it's as it's too 
oh my god it's very obvious that they are discriminating against people that look like in, even in s people are still complaining it's in s oh my goodness anyway when i saw this video i decided i was just gonna alert or a lot or to what is actually happening why not just give me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think with this ghetto makeup that is trending all over the social media leave your thought in the comment section and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one dear girl a huge favor to click on the subscription button like this video share leave your thoughts and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one